What's up guys? I'm in Toronto, heading to the Blue Jays game. See the Rogers Center behind me. My pick for the day is I'm gonna take no runs first inning, which means if there's a run in the first inning, we lose. If there's no run, we win. So it's nice and simple. Uh, Andrew Bellati is gonna be the opener for the Phillies today. He just goes the first inning and then they'll have a starter go the next four or five, depending on how the game goes. And Jose Barrio scoring for the Blue Jays. They've both been pretty good in the first inning of the past couple games, so I'm gonna take a shot. All right, guys, let's make it. I'm either gonna be happy early or gonna be upset and have to try to figure something out for the rest of the game. Let's go. Phillies are taking batting practice. I usually always bring my glove and come early and watch, just in case you never know. It's always fun to try to catch something before the game. And the Phillies, they hit lots of bombs. Got one tossed up by Phillies relieving pitcher, Nick Duran. Yeah. Do they have napkins over there too? Thank you. Is that napkins? Yeah. Jose Barrios warming up for the Blue Jays tonight. Well, of course, we get the two outs in the bottom of the first, and Tiasco Hernandez hits a two out triple that scores two. We lose our under first inning runs. Oh well, I got close. That's just the way it goes. Win some, you lose some. Let's move on. Two nothing, Jays. Well, the Phillies again. Pretty cool seeing four outfielders for Kyle Schwarber for every at bat. You don't see that very often. Okay, we're heading into the bottom of the third. The score is 2 1 Blue Jays. I'm going to take a shot at under nine and a half in the game total score. So it's 2 1, already three, three on the board taking under nine and a half. Let's see if we can break even and get this back. Worth a try. I'd like to go to the game and have something on the line. Let's see what happens. Kristen Stott hitting his fifth home run of the season to tie the game at two. With one on in the top of the fifth, Kyle Schorber hits a deep shot to center field and you see George Springer making an unbelievable diving catch to keep the score at 3-2. That would have easily have been extra bases and possibly another run. Thank God that he made that catch because I could have been in deep trouble. Boom, 10 strikeouts. 
Top of the six, three, three. Tie game, not looking so great for my under, but we have a great ball game. Let's see what happens. 12 strikeouts for Barrios. What a game. 13 strikeouts for Jose Barrios. Wow. Seventh inning stretch, four three Blue Jays, seven runs on the board. Got a little bit of space, but anything can happen. I mean, just take it pitch by pitch, and hopefully we can get this under, but also let's get the Blue Jays to win. Four three, let's go. Yeah. Here comes Jordan Romano coming in to close the game for the Blue Jays. Here we go, heading to the ninth inning. Four, three, Blue Jays, three outs away. With two out and one on, Phillies down to their final batter, Abidel Herrera, who hits a fly ball deep center to Bradley Zimmer and he makes the catch. Blue Jays win 4 3. Oh, and he throws the ball to the crowd over my head. But I wouldn't have got it anyways. Glad to see that a kid got it. Handshakes. Blue Jays win 4-3. Okay. Well, that's the ball game. Blue Jays win 4-3. Game stays under the number. We break even. Nothing gained, nothing lost. On to the next. Fantastic game and great seeing the Blue Jays finally win again after being swept four games in Seattle. Um, Jose Barrios, a big game. 13 strikeouts. Unbelievable. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next game. Take care.